Hi guys, welcome back to another Art Snacks video and to March Art Snacks unboxing. So Art Snacks have kindly sent me this box to bring to you guys. So let's dive right into this and see what goodies we have for this month. Okay. Ooh, this looks very interesting. Okay, so let's start off with this. <laughs> I like how they've put it in a little uh, bag to protect it during transit in case it leaks. Well, I obviously know what this is. This is um, like ink. I believe that I have had these before. I used to, or I did like ages ago, I bought myself some um, inks and I'm pretty sure that this was the brand which I bought but I don't remember that it had a brown so this is Royal Talons Eco line and what is this liquid watercolor okay so it's watercolor not ink interesting so what color actually is this it doesn't actually say but I'm guessing that it's like just some kind of brown tone Ooh, it's got a nice dropper there Okay, so that'll be really interesting. So we'll have to definitely try that out with like some water washes and putting like water down on the paper first, that kind of thing. Let's see what we can create with this. So that's our first thing. So we also have ooh, a Dum Dum. I'm guessing this is a lollipop and it's a mystery flavor. It's a red one, so <laughs> I'm guessing like a cherry or a strawberry flavor maybe. I've never had one of these before, so that will be good save wraps for stuff okay i like that in here we have oh official art snacker enamel pin this is interesting this is very interesting what is this for i should really read oop. i should really read the words that come with it this is really nice it's really nice and smooth nice and shiny quite the snazzy little pin i uh i really appreciate this let's just read what this is all about birthday present art snacks turned six years old oh okay so that's nice this will be added to my little like enamel pin collection i suppose so that's really nice thank you very much art snacks what else do we have we have our Oh, like original old school Art Snacks sticker with the Art Snacks logo that's going on my journal. So let's get rid of that box and let us open up. Let's just put these in view for you guys. Let's open up this thing. Let's dig right into this. Still digging the green. Ooh. Ooh, okay, some pencils, nice, and whatever these are, <laughs> let's start with this one, so this is an ink line pen from King Art, we had a paintbrush that was the same brand as this, so let's just see what this is, this is yellow fine liner, ooh, yellow is one of my favourite colours, so this is very interesting yellow and brown go quite nice together as well so that must be the king art color line pen and then we have this which is an eco line brush pen so this is the same brand as the ink and this is a really nice big nice brush tip and what color is warm gray light okay so i've got some pretty interesting like neutral tones here again which is perfect absolutely perfect for me and then we have some Caran d'Ache pencils so these are graphite pencils so we have an HB and an HB <laughs> I'm not familiar with these pencils so these are Caran d'Ache Swiss wood pencils um, one produced from dark beechwood and one from pine both have silky super silky HB graphite okay if you, what's this? If you sniff the tip of the dark beech wood, you'll get a whiff of brown sugar. Let's just give that a go. Oh yes, yes, that is that's very much brown sugar on the tip of that pencil. So these are really, really nice, sturdy pencils. 
Um, so I will obviously be coating my outlines with these guys and that is basically everything in this box. So I don't have like a wide variety of colours and immediately no ideas are like coming to mind. I might just try like maybe maybe some kind of like abstract animal shape maybe um, and then just like I don't know just try something different for a change. So let's see what we create with these goodies and uh, let's go. So one of the first things I did for this was just experiment with some of the materials in this box. I tested out the little ink pen, the yellow thing, which isn't my favourite supply. Like, upon testing this, it's pretty much just like a standard fine liner, which is fine, but I was testing this over some of the brown inks and everything, and it's not very opaque over the dark colours, so I was kind of thinking, what the hell can I do? with this pen because it's not gonna be useful in any way to me with anything that I had going on in my mind that I wanted to create. But I also tested out the graphite which I absolutely love. I tested out both pencils and as you probably will assume they both work exactly the same considering they are both HB pencils and this was a little bit disappointing from the Art Snacks box because I'm trying to get my head around like why would you supply two pencils of exactly the same grade just because they're made in a different tone of wood? I really don't understand this. I would have really appreciated like an HB and like a 4B or a 6B or just a different grade of pencil than two HB pencils because you're not going to need two HB pencils in creating something or some kind of artwork from these supplies. So. That kind of got me a little bit, although the smell of the brown sugar, the dark uh, cased one was absolutely gorgeous. I love that. I can't stop smelling that pencil. So I really did enjoy that. Another thing with this box was the fact that it didn't come with any paper, it didn't come with a paintbrush. It's kind of a little bit of an oversight for me when it comes to these supplies because if you are a complete beginner and you get this box and you don't have like a watercolour paper or a substantial paper that can hold this liquid watercolour and you also don't have a brush because maybe you're, you're just a graphite artist then you're going to struggle with this because what on earth can you apply it with? and you don't have any paper, what if you just have cartridge paper and then you're just given this material, it's not gonna work properly. So I would have liked like one less HB pencil and a brush or some paper or both, even if they were just like cheaper supplies because these Cavendish pencils are five, almost six dollars per pencil. So that's a substantial amount of the value of this box just in two pencils of the same grade and they're just different colours so not quite understanding the reasoning behind that so I had to use one of my own brushes and I just used a standard watercolour silver brush and I just tried out uh, applying some water to the ink just seeing what kind of effects I could create uh, how the ink how the watercolour I keep calling it ink it's not ink I apologise for calling it ink but I kept trying the watercolour to see how how the many different strengths I could get, how it went down like neat from the bottle and I was quite pleased with how this actually applied and it worked really well with the water and upon reading the card that came with the box I did read that you can dip the brush pen into the ink and create like a gradation so you can go from a really dark brown all the way to the grey so I tested that out a little bit and that was actually really quite fun it's a bit like the chameleon system if any of you are familiar with chameleon markers you kind of you know tip one marker into another I don't really know I haven't played with them but that kind of gave me that impression that that was the kind of thing that they were aiming for here and yeah, I trialled this out just to see what I could create. I was live streaming this on Twitch and I was coming up with a little bit of art block and I was like, mm, I don't know what to do. This is so confusing because I've got two HB pencils and no brushes or pen or paper to work with. What can I do? So I tried to see what I could create. So I did like this branch just to see the effect I could get. 
I uh, did some hand lettering because I was initially thinking, well, I may as well just go with the hand lettering approach because not really much else is coming to mind. And then one of my stream chat people suggested um, like a wolf, which I had done before. And then I thought, I know, a brown bear because the colours I have are brown and like neutral toned. And I was thinking, yes, this is going to work really well. So then I went onto Pixabay and found a really nice reference photo, which I'll link in the description for you guys if you want to try this out. And yeah, just got creating. I did a little tester piece on the side of my sketchbook, which I was really, really pleased with. And then I decided to go with the actual piece. And as I had no paper, I had to reach into my paper box, my paper supplies. And I was actually using an Arches hot pressed watercolor paper for this, which was actually really nice to work on with these supplies. And the graphite goes down incredibly smoothly. It's so nice to work with this graphite. It's gonna probably replace my other pencils. At the moment I'm using a Mars Lumograph, but I really like the way that this one lays down. I said this about the mechanical pencil that came in the last box, but I just love <laughs> new supplies and finding these. But this one is really, really nice and silky smooth. And I used the dark cased one and not the light cased one purely because it smells a whole lot better. That is the only reason. <laughs> Again, if I'd have had another grade of pencil, I could have used another grade, but hmm, just two HB pencils, really. So after I had created my outline, I went in with the watercolour. I went in with like a really pale wash to begin with. I used my little palette and just added a load of water to the liquid watercolour. I just used a dropper to sort of put some in a well on my palette and then mixed some with some water to create a really light wash. I did that all over and then just started to add in some of the dark shadows just by using a squirrel mop brush and just adding it almost neatly down and sort of blending it out. This actually dries really quickly on watercolour paper as well and in my sketchbook I was using it on some cartridge paper and also some of the Fabriano paper and it dries really really quickly which I was really pleased about because if you know me and you follow some of my Twitch streams you'll know that I get incredibly frustrated with watercolour when it doesn't dry quick enough. So this dried almost, well I wouldn't say instantly, but it dried pretty quickly. It dried a lot quicker than ordinary watercolour. So I was able to rework areas. And what was great about this watercolour, this liquid watercolour, is the fact that it reworks. So when you go back over with, a, with another layer or just with some water, you can reactivate the colour and you can create some really nice smooth gradation. You can blend things out. It was really nice to work with. And I also did the technique of dipping the brush pen into the pot and creating some darker areas. I started to add like some kind of fur texture with the pen. So I started off with the dark brown and added it into the darker areas. And then as it gradually faded through the pen nib and got to more of the gray tone, then I started to work in some of the lighter areas. And it was a really nice process I really did enjoy that and the great thing about that is that when you do work with the pen and the dipping it into the watercolor that way when you then work back over with some more layers like to create some more washes or whatever because you've mixed it with the pen it doesn't reactivate as much so you kind of keep the structure or any kind of fine detail that you've built which is really really nice which was awesome for me because I love I'm all about the detail and I was able just to add in some really nice kind of yellowy washes over the top and I think it gave my bear an overall really nice effect and I was actually quite happy with the process in the end of this piece. It's quite therapeutic to work with this. I didn't really use much of the yellow pen purely because in my testing I just wasn't sure what to do with it and it didn't go over the dark colour that well, it wasn't opaque, it didn't really show up in a lot of the lighter areas either. So I just kind of sparsely added it at the end throughout some of the fur just to give the bear a little bit of like a highlight. It kind of looks a little bit stupid and I kind of wish that I hadn't added in the yellow because I kind of liked the effect of it without the yellow but I wanted to incorporate the supplies somehow and I just wasn't sure how so this is what I ended up doing which <laughs> yeah 
Give your opinions as to whether or not you think the addition of the yellow destroyed the piece because I personally think that it did. Looking at it now, as I'm just doing this voiceover, I'm looking at the piece and it's kind of a little less subtle than when I recorded the b-roll for the end of this video. But yeah, I really wish that I kind of had just left that out. My overall opinion of this box is this isn't a great box, if I'm honest. As I said, as a beginner, if you just got this box and just had these supplies and you weren't used to using or didn't have any sort of paper to use with watercolour or even a brush, then it's not really ideal. The only thing you could really do is, what springs to mind is like, use your fingers to splatter down water and then dr use the dropper to drop the liquid watercolour onto the water drops and just create like an ink blot. That's what comes to mind, but... It's a bit of an oversight in my opinion to not include a brush and some paper and I think that taking out one of those HB pencils and adding in a paper and or a brush just would have made this box a whole lot better in my opinion. But the supplies that they that were given were actually really nice to use. They did work well together. The yellow pen wasn't water soluble so I could have used it as like an outline but with the idea I had in mind I just didn't know what to do with it. If it was water soluble, I could have created like a nice golden yellow wash, but alas, it wasn't. But they do work really well together, all of these supplies. And I did have fun with this one in the end. What do you guys think of this bear piece? I don't think feel like it's my best piece, but I really love creating these sort of experimental pieces with the art snacks boxes and just seeing how things turn out and it's so much different to my usual colored pencil work that I personally really, really enjoy it. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video and this Art Snacks unboxing and creation. I'm really excited to see what next month holds. I hope you guys are as well. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up with that button below. If you know around here and you like this content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new art videos, coloured pencil tutorials, techniques, all of that kind of thing every single Friday. And I do the occasional live stream on a Sunday as well. And I would love to see you join in with some of those. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!